What is up, everybody? Buddha back here again, and it is time for a convention hall video. Uh, the most recent convention that I went to was MidSouthCon 34 um, here in Memphis uh, at the Hilton Hotel. Um, if you're new to these convention halls, this is only the second one I've done. Um, I just basically do a video describing what I got at what con and kind of plug the con a little bit and plug different people who I, I bought stuff from. Um, that being said, uh, some of these things are going to end up in other videos because I've either bought games and I'm going to do a, uh, a uh, late to the game video on it or I'm just going to, you know, tell you, I'm going to tell you what I got basically. Um, so first we're going to start out with Dungeon Roll. Dungeon Roll is a game I've been eyeing for a while and I finally, you know, I don't want to say got up the nerve to buy it, but I, I guess I got up the nerve to buy it. Uh, and since purchasing it this last weekend, I've actually already gotten the two expansion packs for it uh, with the new heroes. But Dungeon Roll is a game where you choose a hero and you roll dice to determine what you're fighting in the dungeon. And then you go either up a level or you stop. Kind of like saving in Farkle or um, uh, Zombie Dice or something like that. And uh, I haven't actually played it yet, but I'm gonna. Um, there's a little texture there or something on the top of the box here. Anyways, so just to kind of give you an idea here. You're given a player card and you've got a, a handful of dice. The black dice that you can barely see there because most of them are still in the box are your dungeon dice. It's basically what you're going to fight against. The white dice are your party dice and they can be anything between a fighter, a champion, a warlock, or a wizard, a rogue, a uh, cleric, stuff like that. So like that's the wizard, that's the thief, but it's upside down. Um, that that's the cleric symbol, but it's upside down. Um, see if again. Mage. That's the fighter symbol. Should I get these a little closer? And that's the champion symbol. Basically, you use the white dice to build your party each round, and then you use the black dice to figure out what you're going to fight. And like. That's a dice on the run. Um, that's a potion, so you could probably pick up a potion. That's a dragon, and there are special rules for the dragon. You don't fight the dragon dice, you kind of save those. Uh, that's a chest, and you get a treasure. That's an ooze, but it's upside down. And then that's a goblin, and then that should be... The skeleton, but it's upside down. So those are the kind of monsters you fight, or the loot you find, and stuff like that. But basically, like in level one of the dungeon, you roll one die, one black die. So level two of the dungeon, you two black dice, and so on. Uh, heard very good things about it. This is probably going to end up a um, late to the game video because I haven't done one in a while, and this is actually a game I've been meaning to pick up. Um, I got it for like I would say fifteen bucks, so that's not bad on that. The next two are kind of very similar. Um, they're both older games, which I'm not sure if they're going to... Because I've never heard of them before. Um, but we have Treasures and Traps. Which is a... Basically, I'll read you the blurb on the back. A fantasy adventure card game puts you in the role of the hero. Collect three treasures before anyone else. Sounds simple enough, right? Now throw in a two-headed troll, a maze of dangerous doors, and a few cunning thieves. You never know what might happen next. Each game is a unique journey of wild adventure never to be repeated again. Um, I've looked into this to degree. It's It wasn't a really uh, popular game, but I mean, it was, I think I got it for 10 bucks again. So it was something interesting, you know, a nice little card game. We'll figure that out as we go on. I do know that there's a couple expansions to it. Um, this is by Studio Nine Inc. Um, uh, Dungeon Roll is by TMG. Which uh, game design by Chris Darden? Uh, I don't know what TMG stands for. 
Oh, Tasty Minstrel Games. So Tasty Minstrel Games does dungeon roll. I, I think people are going to you know, bitch at me about that probably, not knowing that, but still. So this seemed like a very interesting card game. The art on it is pretty cool. Um, but this game is very similar to this other game that I got called Dungeon Raiders. And I'll read you the back of it. Join a brave party of adventurers. Explore dungeons filled with monsters, traps, and treasure. In Dungeon Raiders, each player takes the role of a different adventurer. You need to work together to survive the dungeon, but only one of you will make it out with the most treasure and win the game. The dungeon is different each time you play, offering new surprises as you collect treasure, trigger the traps, and fight off horrible monsters. Uh, dungeon Raiders can also be played as a solitaire game. Take on the dungeon alone and see how much treasure you can make it out with. Uh, these games, these two games seem very familiar to, to each other, uh, maybe different mechanics. I read through the rules on both of these games, but they haven't quite figured it all out. And of course, I haven't even attempted to play them solo, but that's something that's probably going to happen. These will probably also be late to the game videos, um, but this is a convention hall video, and I'm just showing you what I got. So I think maybe we do, we do, um, late to the games on these and uh, it'll um, inspire you to go buy a copy of your set. Now I do know that this has gotten a revision because uh, the box, I, when I was doing some Google search on it, the box art was different than this. Um, and I'll just show you that there. This seems to be the, a first printing or at least a low level printing. Um, 100 cards and a rule sheet. Game designed by Phil Harding and I don't remember whether or not it actually said it's first edition or not, but that's these two. Um, the only thing else I got was from the Gaming Guest of Honor for Mid South Con 34, which name is Robert Swab. Uh, I kickstarted his, uh, I backed his Kickstarter for Shadows of the Demon Lord, and I got to play a game with him, and it was fun. Um, very somewhat gruesome and horrible type stuff because we were fighting. Uh, Things like um, a specter had come out of this graveyard, and it kind of, not necessarily the graveyard, but out of a grave through the tombstone. And as more of it materialized, we could tell that it was jerking off, feverishly. Then it elongated its cock and used it as a flail to beat us about the head, neck, and shoulders. Um, we also fought at one point against a nun that we had met previously, who seemed to be a, a nice person, but later in the game, she turned out to be kind of like a bent over backwards spindly um, monster with vagina tentacles. That's the type of game Shadows of the Demon Lord is. It's not necessarily post-apocalyptic, but it definitely is apocalyptic. Basically, the Demon Lord in a fantasy realm has come to destroy the world, and you know, it's kind of Lovecraftian and kind of you know high fantasy world-ending D&D type stuff. So I got three books from him that was not included in the Kickstarter. Uh, in print, anyway. Uh, I do have physical copies of the Demon Lord's Companion, or digital copies of Demon Lord's Companion. Now I have a physical copy. Uh, I think I have Tombs of Desolation as well uh, as a digital copy, but of course I was looking for physical copies of the game, of the stuff that was not included in the Kickstarter. So that's the, this is a, this is kind of a player's companion. But this is more like um, an expansion about the desolation. Uh, the desolation stretches beyond the northern reach, a blighted place poisoned by dark magic and, infest and infested with the undead. Uh, this book includes Revenant Salamander and Vampire Ancestries, New Pass, including the Prince of Darkness and Slayer of the Dead, uh, Blood Tradition and New Spells, Details about the desolation of surrounding lands, new relics and creatures like the Cauldron of Death and the Desiccated One, and a, and a new adventure. So there's that. And then this book is Tales from the Demon Lord, which is a collection of adventures uh, along with uh, information about city of the cross, the city of crossings, and a select few new creatures. That terrorize the northern reach. So these are kind. Of, these two here are kind of linked together because they're right kind of next to each other. Uh, not in the video, but in the lands that they describe. But that's really all I got. All by the way, all three of these books are signed by Robert Schwab. 
Um, he was a fun guy. I uh, did not get to drink with him like I wanted to, but there is that. Um, he, he made the game really fun. And the game is pretty simple. It's a d20 attack die, and then everything else is based on a d6 roll. Now, And also, in Shadows of the Demon Lord, there are what's called Banes and Boons. So if there's a... It's kind of a free flow system to some degree. I mean, there's stats and stuff like that, and you have to build characters that way. But it's kind of a free flow system, whereas, like, uh, you know, I'm going to try to boot the door down, and he's going to help me. So that would give me a boon. Well, I'm going to try to boot the door down by myself, but it's barred on the other side, and I don't know it, so that's a bang. That's basically how it works. It's kind of a free flow tabletop, brutal D&D esque type game with Lovecraftian elements, stuff like that. Um, some friends of mine, actually, since I have all the books, would like me to run a series of campaigns. And that's another thing. All the adventures are basically set up so that they run uh, in a four to five hour block. So perfect for conventions, for, perfect for game shop play, uh, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to pick it up yourself, you can either find Robert Schwab uh, and hope he has a book on him that he can sell you. Or uh, you can also go to schwabentertainment.com, I believe it is. Um, you can friend him on Facebook. There's a Facebook page there as well. Uh, it's based on the Schwab Entertainment. Um, the logo for the Shadows of the Demon Lord, most everything, every social media has that logo. Uh, the demon, right, the shape of it anyway. Not necessarily the colors. Um, but yeah, you find that, you find Robert Schwab. Uh, like I said, he's on Facebook with himself and Schwab Entertainment. I believe it is very much SchwabEntertainment.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but that's what I got this at this Mid-South Con this year. And uh, all in all, I had a good time. I ran a bunch of Munchkin events. Uh, at least one every day. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was a couple on Saturday because I had kids games Saturday morning and then I helped uh, carry the uh, cell leader with uh, his game Saturday afternoon. I run a couple games there. Um, but yeah, Mitchellcon was fun. Uh, as always, it's my home con, so I always go to it. And people look at my badge and are like, how many cons have you been to? I said, eh, I've been to every Mid-South Con since 18. And if it wasn't out of reach right now, I'd, I'd show you my badges. But that's that. Um, but yeah, so MidSouthCon.org for next year, roughly around the middle to end of March. Robert Schwab, um, I don't know what his convention schedule is. He was at Mid-South Con last weekend. He was at MTAC which is Middle Tennessee Anime Convention, I believe. Uh, you can find MTAC as well. This weekend, uh, I know he's going to be at Dragon Con in September, which is probably the next time I'm going to be able to hang out with the guy. Um, but beyond that, that's all I really got at the con this year. And um, look forward to the next convention video, uh, convention hall video. Uh, it may not be until Shadow Con that I do another convention hall video. Or not ShadowCon, excuse me, DragonCon. Uh, ShadowCon isn't until January. We've already been there. Um, yeah, so the next convention hall will probably be DragonCon followed by... Uh, oh, what is Donnie's Con? I can't remember. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll link all the cons that I know about for the rest of the year the, in the description. And, um, yeah. So, Dragon Con, Donnie's Con, and MCFC are the ones that I know I'm going to within the next year. Uh, so there's that. And then Shadow Con is technically next year, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.